So we replaced the fuse and the microwave turned on and powered up just fine, but then when we closed and opened the door a few times, it tripped the breaker again and blew the fuse again. So I think the problem is that my microwave has a, a switch, a door switch. These door switches can go bad. These door switches are designed to protect us so that when you close the door, uh, the microwave will shut off properly and when you open it, it just doesn't emit radiation when you open the door. It's supposed to shut off automatically. So, or not radiation, but just the microwaves. So anyway, we're going to take off this panel here, get access to these door switches and get these replaced before I put a new fuse in because I don't want to just keep putting fuses in that keep blowing every time we open or close the door, which is pointless. So. Hopefully for you, the only problem you had was that this fuse needs to be replaced. Uh, but sometimes there's a cause for why the fuse is blowing. And in my case, the fuse is blowing because I believe it's blowing because of the door switches. Because after doing some research, people say a lot of the issue is the door switches, especially if it blows every time you open or close the door. It doesn't blow the fuse when we try to turn on the microwave. It's only when you try to open or close the door. So I'm pretty certain in my case that it's the door switch is the cause of why the uh, fuse is blowing. So. There's a, there's a screw under here, right there. I'm gonna unscrew that. And I already took off a screw up top here. So the, the screw right there, I already unscrewed that because we wanna be able to take off this front panel here to get access to these door switches. So we'll work on that. Okay, so we took out that screw right here underneath. It goes right there. I'm just gonna set it up here with my other screws. Um, so I don't so I don't lose it and then just pull and the whole thing just comes out easily and you can just let it hang there it's got like a little thing I want to be careful I don't put too much tension on that cord but I can already see the door switch switches in there and again you make sure before you mess with any electrical components that it's unplugged and yes my microwave is unplugged that's just the um, surge protector but the microwave is unplugged so you see in there that was easy to get access to that it could be this switch here or that switch there my suspicion is that's the lower switch my little eight-year-old son when he tries to open the microwave door kind of pulls down in a downward motion too much so I think the door is being pulled down too far and too hard so we'll see what's going on here I'm gonna take off these little switches and see if I can buy the right replacement part so there's a little tiny star bit I'm going to use to loosen that. We got a little, little tiny star bit. Use that to loosen that bolt here. Carefully remove that. I can put that in there because I'm not using the microwave right now. So I am taking a picture here of the electrical component or the electronic connection so that I can replace them properly later it's just going to be easier to work in this area if I unplug these cords and get access to the switches. So I was able to pull this lower one out. This is just the one that just sits back here. It came out easier than the top one did. And there's only one switch. You can see on this side there's no switch. There's just only one on this side. So I'm trying to get this disconnected so I can see if I just replace that switch, if that will help.